So the last assert method we're going to look at is the is true and is not true method. And is true takes in an expression as its value and it passes if that expression is true and fails if that expression is false. Um, so let's say we have, uh, he, let's go here and then we'll call the is true method here. And remember the first argument is an expression. So if I say something like, um, let's say zero is greater than one, we know that this is not true. So this will evaluate, it, this won't evaluate to true. So um, if I put something like the expression is not true, so this is the error message if this fails. So if I run this test now, we can see that it fails and it says um, expected false to be true. So it checks if it's true. The um, alternate method for this is the is not true method. And this checks that the expression we gave it is not equal to true. So if we save that and I run it again, we can see that it passes because zero is um, not greater than one. So this the statement is not true and I guess something here as an error message we can give it something like the expression is true or the expression is not not true if you really want to do that. Um, the other method is for checking for false is the is false method and is false will take in an expression and it will pass if that expression is false. So if I put something like one is greater than zero which we know to be true and then the error message will be something like the expression was not false. And I save that and I run this. Um, we can see that it fails because it this evaluated to true and it's supposed to be false. Um, the opposite of this is once again is the is not false method. And this checks that whatever expression is in here is not false. So the expression was not not false, or I guess you could say the expression was false if it failed. Now, if I run this test again, um, we can see that it passes because this expression evaluated to false. Sorry, this expression evaluated um, to true, which is not false. So this test passes. Um, the reason that we have separate methods is when we're testing everything every test we do is specific. So just because a, something is, um, the value we give it is not true, doesn't explicitly mean that it is false. For example, if we have something that's null or undefined, we can safely say that it's not true, but if we were to say that it's false, then that, that would be wrong because it's not false either. So this, this is why we have these explicit methods to check for one thing. And just because one test fails, doesn't mean that the opposite case is true. So if we look at um, the challenge now, um, what, once again, we have to make these tests pass and assert has been assigned to this assert variable. Um, so let's have a think. So if we have a test that takes in true, and we're only allowed to use is true or is not true here, we don't think about the false ones. And if we take in true, and we want to make this test pass, if we give this um, to a test that checks if something is true, we know that this will pass because this true is true. So it'll pass. Now, this exclamation mark, exclamation mark here, exclamation mark generally means um negation so it, it kind of means false I guess but if you do that to another exclamation mark what you've done is you've negated the false so it's like the f it's like false false I guess which is kind of true I'm not really too sure about this one um so it's it's like it's true technically so if we should give this to the is true method and I need to open the bracket again because I've accidentally removed it. Um, so yeah, this this is technically true right here. So if we give it is true, which checks if the value is true, this will pass. Um, finally, we have a, um, I guess, an object here. And um, we want to make this test pass. So if we were to give this um, object to is true, if we think about it, this can this um, 
value right here is not equal to true. It's not equal to false, but it's still not equal to true, so it'll fail. So we want to we know that this is not true. So if we want to make this test pass, we have to give it to is not true. Now if I save that and then copy the live app link. I'm not too sure about this one actually, so we'll see if I was right or wrong. And yeah, that seems to have been okay. So yeah, the is true and is not true and is false and is not false can be used to check if um, Boolean expressions are true or false.